Shelby Barney. I'm the host of the Innovator Series, brought to you by Technology for Obama. And I'm here with Drew Houston today, who's the co-founder and CEO of Dropbox. Uh, Dropbox is kind of a great new application that allows you to maintain your life in the cloud. Um, and it's been, a, I think, for a lot of us, a really fantastic service and has grown from very little to something that serves over a billion files a day, which is That's amazing. Right. So I thought, you know, you've gone from founding a company sitting on a bus coming up with the idea to a company that has over a $4 billion valuation mm -hmm. a day. Uh, you've tripled your employees uh, during the last year. I thought it might be helpful just, you know, some of the lessons you've learned for kind of other entrepreneurs who may be sitting out on a bus somewhere thinking about a new idea. Sure. Uh, I think the first thing for me was uh, just getting started and getting on a path to, um, I mean, there's so many hundreds of things that you need to learn, or thousands or you know, millions of things, little things you need to learn to, to run a company well that um, I think the most important thing is really start is, is getting involved in the startup, maybe starting a project, just beginning that kind of journey. Um, and did and you then, know you were gonna, I mean, did you kind of have a sense, you know, when you were coming out of MIT that you were gonna be an entrepreneur? Yeah, it was, it was kind of funny. I, even though, I can't really point to any specific moment where I knew I wanted to start a company. It was just sort of this thing that was always in the back of my head that, um, you know, all the things in the world that are out there, they were created by, you know, um, created by these companies that were started by these individuals. And I thought that was just a really fascinating game of how that actually happens. So what, so um, one is go out, you know, try things, experiment, stuff like yeah. that. I'm, what other kind of advice, I mean, you know, what have been important things kind of in your CEO role as you've kind of grown the company in terms of, I think, you know, good decisions you made and some bad decisions yeah. that you kind of learned from? Well, I think, yeah, in addition to getting started, obviously, um, the main thing is really put yourself in situations uh, that get you on a path to, uh, th that resembles, you know, other paths that, that have led to these big companies. And so a couple examples of that. So we, we, we got investment from people who were really experienced um, and had built these, you know, who, who had overseen or presided over these billion dollar companies that they were built. So they had useful advice and context for us that we couldn't have gotten anywhere else. Uh, second, we moved to you know Silicon Valley in San Francisco. Um, unbelievable concentration here of people who have been there um, and had built these companies. And how hard a decision was that? Was that kind of an obvious decision, or is that something you guys spent a lot of time thinking about? It was. It was a well. So there were two factors. One was kind of the professional element, where that part was really easy. Uh, where you know, th this place has has turned out more kind of life changing, you know, or world changing. You know, com companies, and certainly in terms of consumer internet, than just about anywhere else. And second, was uh, I, I love Boston and New England, and I grew up there. Uh, but there was one day I can remember just digging my car out of the snow, and you know, the wind blowing me sideways, and I'm like, off to California. Yeah, so, like, easy decision. Uh, so both of those things. Yeah, well, that's great advice. We we look forward to talking to you more about things. So thank you so much for spending time with us, Trip. My pleasure. Thanks. Thanks.